Mark Twain Lake Sailing Association's 2021 season begins after the fleet celebrates the end of the 2020 season with their annual end-of-year banquet meeting at the Les Bourgeois Winery. Awards were presented. 2021 officers were sworn into office. Captain Crunch Award was given. Attaboy, Brian! Previous Commodore's Award were given. Attaboy, Charlie! After the 2020 Wuhan pandemic, surely the 2021 season will be a better year. Now, an intro from the 2021 Commodore, Chad Stretz. <laughs> uh, welcome to the, the uh, annual dinner, and uh, it's, it's been an interesting year. We started off um, uh, with the pandemic that actually we pretty much figured out how to work through that, and once we got that down, then we had a nice storm that pretty much ended everything for us. So uh, now we've got a bunch of boats up on the hard, uh, a few of them still on the lake, but what we do have is a club that pulls together and helps everybody out and that's been the best part of this year so we look forward to a better season in 2022 and enjoy the video perfect i am not afraid of storms for i am learning how to sail my ship louisa may alcott when people think of sailors they think of big waters of oceans and tides, of faraway places. They think of salt water and storms, of the Great Lakes and their icy domain. But there are those who sail on inland lakes, whose love of sailing is not diminished by the waters they call home. Mine was too late. Carl's in the lead. We tacked. We're four minutes plus into the race and we crossed the starting line.
House Butters Blaine and Brock. So we got Sweet Lenore, Inconceivable, Nifty Fifty, the McGregor X that doesn't have a name, Blown Away, Entropy, Bon Voyage, Blue by View, Vinta de Dios, Yolo, Desiree, and Matilda. That's gorgeous. On Mark Twain Lake. A group of people has formed to celebrate sailing. They are a diverse group brought together by one thing. Each of them is an inland sailor. I had just gotten down to the old seacoast town and my throat was feeling dry. So I stopped by the tavern to Paul have here. me a few and I caught an old seaman's eye. He said, son, I can tell by the cut of your jib, you're a drylander full and by. And he said, all true sailors must learn on the sea. And I gave him my standard reply. I'm an inland sailor, I don't sail your seas. But I sail any boat just as well as you please. I can tackle them and jibe them as good as they come. And I handle me on share rum. The old seaman picked up his mug full of grub. And he stood face to face at the bar. He said he'd been sailing for 45 years from Alaska to old Zanzibar. And he told me no dry lander ever could sail like the boys from the big briny blue. Then we emptied our mugs and we filled them again. And I told him just what I could do. I'm an inland sailor, I don't sail your seas, but I sail any boat just as well as you please. I can tack them and jibe them as good as they come, and I handle me own share of rum. We argued all night till the cakes had run dry and the floor was pitching and heaving. The old fella still said that I could not sail and he stopped me as I was leaving. There's a couple of sloops in the harbor, he said, and his eyes was all shiny and bright. We will race to rock head in the teeth of the wind and we'll start at the first morning light. I'm an inland sailor, I don't sail your seas, but I sail any boat just as well as you please. I can tack them and jibe them as good as they come, and I handle me own share of rum. The morning came early, the wind came in strange, it was dusting and swirling and shifting. As we beat for rock head, I was slightly behind when the wind started heading and lifting. So I tacked on the headers, pinched up on the lifts, while the old seaman plodded along. When I got to Rockhead, I was well in the lead, and I turned and I sang him my song. I'm an inland sailor, I don't sail your seas, but I sail any boat just as well as you please. I can tack them and jive them as good as they come, and I handle me on share of So welcome to Matilda. We got back to the harbor and stepped to the pier. The old seaman was red in the face. He was beat fair and square by a dry land or two, and to him it was quite a disgrace. He said them was the nastiest, shiftiest winds. It was all he could do to get through it. Yet a dry lander beat him in that kind of stuff, so I told him just why I could do it. I'm an inland sailor, I sail where the wind don't build on the brine and come blowing straight in. It crosses cold water and land that is hot, and shifty winds all that we've got. I'm an inland sailor, I don't sail your seas, but I sail any boat just as well as you please. I can pack them and jibe them as good as they come, and I can hold me on chair or rum. Yeah. True story. Yeah. So yeah, except for we're us. doing fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So, Wendy says five knots, gust into 14. When I came across down, I think there's a little bit more than that out there. So, um, I'm thinking start out here like we always do. 
between ADOC and the tower. I do not have a big Tell us when it's playing. It is playing. It has been playing. This is day 17,394 of the 24 hour race. We found Doug. In Ireland. I think we're doing handicaps, and so I think he came in like eight. Is it the Blarney Trophy? It was a Blarney Trophy. Action shot. Action No, that wasn't Galactica. And there's... Well, you guys had some good sales in September or October when you were doing the series races. You had good weather. Well, hopefully we can do it sooner than that. But... Another one coming in. Get. <laughs> any, any, any wise statements for any of your video? Oh no. Okay, the story later. Where's my horse? They all come out of the gate. Don't you have the red tape taping around the ankles? <laughs> I think I'm the pink. <laughs> Independence Day. A couple days early. Happy birthday, Commodore. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hey, everybody. Yep. Budget. Budget cuts. America! <laughs> I am glad they're here. They got the music. Yes. Moving over to Perry, Missouri, this is the aftermath of the severe weather that swept through the tri-states last night. According to uh, Kevin Dice with the National Weather Service, there was no tornado. He says 90 mile per hour straight line winds. Dice wants to inform people that straight line winds, if we can go to that next photo right there, can be just as damaging and more widespread than a weak tornado. We want to thank Mike Haley for allowing us to use these photos.
Just a little bit. Yep. Do we have a boat hook to keep it from coming over? In our personal lives, important decisions often turn on a whim, but their effects are far reaching. Our decision to sail on Mark Twain Lake was made just so. And though we had other choices, fate stepped in to guide us in the form of a flipped penny. Here is Lil Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. Warning. So this is not too many carbs, three grams of carbs. Oh, we're good then. Yeah. So we're not going to get fat on this. Actually, it helps burn the carbs off. Well, exactly. Get down. Oh, this is Nathan, boys. He's oh, the yeah, house across the road. Across the road, across the dock. <laughs> okay. Sarah. Are, are we ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taylor, try, stop trying now we're going to try to keep it in at least 30 seconds chewing before swallowing. Ready? Uh -huh. No. Let's do it. Right. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, oh, 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 six. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's getting worse. Tell me when it's 15 or 20. <laughs> 
I saw it in print. It's got to be true. <laughs> Were you out yesterday too? straight ahead of us in Sweet Lenore. What an absolutely beautiful sail. Reflection's really cool. Sailing, sailing, sailing on the March train day. Oh, Myron's on the docks in the wind and showers. Sailing on the March train day. Look at him go! That's 90 miles an hour! Sailing on the March train day. Sailing, sailing. Sailing on the train lake. Sailing, sailing, sailing on the train lake. Oh, Paul likes to pee off of every boat side. Sailing on the Mark Twain lake. Sweet Lenore just hangs her head to hide. 
sailing on the Mark Twain Lake. Sailing, sailing, sailing on the Mark Twain Lake. <laughs> Okay. We're right now we're making 6.1 knots. eagles flying around. We've come full circle now from our first days on Mark Twain Lake through history and back again. We've had some fun along the way and yet we wonder what brings us to the lake week after week, year after year. The answer is at once simple and complex. We come because we love to sail. We come because we need to be free. We come because of other place and like no other group. And it is all because we are true sailors though we are hundreds of miles from the sea. When I was a child, I could see tall ships passing, though only in books or on bright silver screens. For my home was so far from the breeze of the ocean and the sea was a dream that I never had seen It's pooper time! It's on the clock sailing on the Mark Twain Lake Better run fast, Myron! Get off that dock! <laughs> Mark Twain Lake. Walking the dog. The little shit.
Well, oh, it's me, Mr. I'm Gonna Be Famous. You know what, Doug? I may not be much to look at, but I can <laughs> like the government. My interview with 90 mile an hour Myron. How was it, 90 mile an hour Myron? How was what? And now, a forward from, ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Gordon, what is best in life? 